Okay, uh, so um, hello guys, we're here with uh, Manish Kumar, the current CEO of SolidWorks, like the, the boss of bosses uh, in the company. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you all. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and this, uh, oh, okay, this is one. So, um, so well, I, I asked him if he came, uh, he can came with, uh, with me to record this kind of podcast. Um, so actually he, he was free today and he spared uh, uh, maybe like an hour, half an hour of his time in order to, to be here and record. So uh, for which I am very grateful. Thanks, Manish. Pleasure is mine. Well done. Thank you. And so uh, in order to, to maybe address some of your questions, I, I did a, a bunch of posts on my social media. I hope you, you uh, managed to see it. But in case you don't, well, you can... Uh, Maybe uh, write your questions in, in this post, in this, in the comment section. And maybe if in, uh, if for another chance we, we can meet, meet again, well, I, I will be, uh, I, I will try to, uh, to ask your questions to him. Of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. So, okay. Well, uh, starting, uh, for example, one, one of the guys was, uh, was asking, uh, what's your opinion about the use of AI into design? And if you think that it's going to replace anything, like maybe the workers or I don't know. <laughs> uh, look, AI, it's a very good question, first of all. Um, though if you go deeper into AI, what is AI? AI is the existing data knowledge, know-how that you have captured over man, many number of years by creating designs, mm -hmm. AI is able to go in there, extract that knowledge, captured knowledge, and give it, to, give it back to you. So it is a tool with which you will be able to improve your productivity. It is a tool which remembers a lot of things. So as human beings, our, our memory is limited. We uh, plus the other uh, problem with uh, human beings is that if I'm thinking of something, if I tell you mm -hmm. and then ask you to pass that information to someone else, typically the information gets lost because the way you will describe is not the same exact way that I, I described it to you. Mm -hmm. Whereas computers are very good at passing on information mm -hmm. because all the bits that goes from one computer to the other, it's the same exact bits that goes from the second computer to the third one. So in a way, preserving knowledge, preserving data, passing data around, etc. is very easy. So retrieving data is also very easy for a computer. That if I have stored data in last 10 years, I'll be able to extract it, I'll be able to retrieve it, whereas I'll not be able to memorize myself where I was 10 years back on this given day. Whereas computer can do it very easily. So for things which have been done in past, mm -hmm. computer can extract that info knowledge it can inspire me by giving me multiple choices about certain things, certain situations. But is it really what we do as engineers? Um, I don't think so. We, we innovate. We think, we think of problems and we try to come up with solutions which have never been designed before. And when something which has never been designed before, computer has never seen it before. So will computer will be will it able will will it be able to solve all the future needs of humankind? I don't think so. It will solve the problems better on aspects on which problems have already been solved. So if you have ten different ways of solving and you ask given a given scenario that can I solve this particular scenario, it may give you the best result, right? If it is a new problem most likely <laughs> you're not going to get the result. Yes, because if we don't know, the computer also doesn't know. So Exactly. So the creativity of human being is never going to be replaced. I don't think creativity of human being is going to be replaced. What AI is going to do is that it is going to help us be more productive. Mm -hmm. And if we are more productive, if I can take care of certain mundane issues, mm -hmm. then I will focus more on things that I like which is to innovate, to design, to, to come up with innovative ideas, novel ideas. So, in other words, I think what it is going to do is it is going to revolutionize the world by making me a better person, a better designer, by making me or giving me more time to think about 
innovation, less time to do mundane tasks. Exactly. Yes, well, for example, if Maya, Maya asks, uh, um, what I think about uh, the AI implementation in design is that uh, AI is going, maybe it's going to replace some, as, as you say, the, some repetitive tasks that takes me time, but it, it, it needs to be done. So in so now the computer is going to do it instead of me or instead of a person. So it, at the end of the day, it's a tool that I can use as an engineer to make greater things and faster and without having to spend that much time in those mundane tasks, as you mentioned. So I think I think it's maybe it's going to replace the, the people that only I, I know, like maybe they, they just push a button. So we. If something can push a button, well, that, that people is replaceable, I think. But uh, an engineer, a, a, a creative engineer, a, so a problem-solving engineer, but yeah, he, he's, he's never going to be replaced. No. And um, they, they also they, they also were uh, asking if if it's uh, the Sol systems or SolidWorks currently working into into integrating AI in some of the tools. Yes, and. Um Tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I'm going to give you a deeper insight. So I cannot reveal that to you yet, okay, okay. but yeah. answer is yes. <laughs> okay. And some of them are uh, exactly in that line of thinking that can we take care of so certain things that you may not want to do, but you have to do today. Okay. Can we take care of that so that you have more time mm. to do things that you really like? Exactly. And. I think this this is kind of like the motto, so to speak, for of the soul system that it's uh, improving the human quality of the quality of life. And right. I think that all the all the efforts uh, of you as 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 the soul systems are into making that possible, that uh, improving life. Uh, any any chance to improve the quality of life of anyone, it's it's a good thing, and it's it may take. Um, it may take time, but it, it it's, it's for a brighter future, so to speak. Indeed. Um, and uh, if you look deeply into the DASA system's vision, we, we think of creating universes. Now, let me try to define universes. Um, SolidWorks, or a, a lot of different tools that DASA systems has, we help our users try to create virtual twin of real objects. Mm -hmm. Now those virtual twins can be something very small as a camera or something as big as the building behind us. Okay. Mm -hmm. But these virtual twins and to build them, you have everything all 3D modeling, you have planning, you have a platform to keep the data together and so on. So we have all the tools to do that. But we believe that just the virtual twins and doing some scientific simulation on those virtual twins, this is important. Mm -hmm. It might not be enough because you have to think of a virtual twin in a context of what universe it lives in. So, for example, this building behind us, the building is in a city. Mm -hmm. Now, if you construct a building out of the blue, what effect it is going to have in terms of environment, in terms of casting shadows on the other buildings? If there is an airflow going, how is it going to affect the airflow? Not only that, how is it going to affect the city infrastructure? Because if you build a really tall building with thousands of people living in there, yeah. you have to think about, okay, there is water uh, need there. There is a sanitation need. There is a public transportation need. If you do not look at all that in a bigger context, you will try to build something and it is going to fail. So. Virtual twins is something which we have been trying to uh, help our clients build, but we need to take that one level forward where virtual twins have to live in a context of a lot of different virtual twins with a lot of complex relationships between those virtual twins. Once you have that, you will be able to do simulation and I would say we are a company, we call it V plus R, virtual plus real. So virtual is what you have created, but virtual does not produce data. Data is produced by the real world. Once people start to live in, you may imagine that they are going to live a certain way, but once people start to live in those real world, they will generate real data. You need to connect the virtual data and real data together in order to learn and improve the virtual world. So it's literally a cycle that we are thinking of. It's We call it a if we loop. It's a loop. 
it's an infinite loop that we have to go through where you know you come up with an idea try to deliver it then start to use it and this uses will create real data that you use in order to improve the life so it's not really uh, just create and forget about it it's about connecting it in a holistic way this is what we think of uh, the mission of dasso systems with one uh, one final aspect i'll say um while we are doing that we are also trying to make sure that we are thinking of world in a sustainable way because um what is happening is that as as mankind building something from scratch is very easy mm -hmm. you tell me to build something i go buy material build it at the end of its uses i throw it away done right mm -hmm. but by doing that we are wasting a lot of resources we are in fact at this point taking the resources of mother nature mm -hmm. at a higher pace than we are replenishing it back mm -hmm. it's a non sustainable way of living at some point we need to ensure that the amount of stuff that we take from mother nature we are able to return back to her more than what we took mm -hmm. then it becomes a real positive impact on the human kind mm -hmm. we want to see that world and if in that world what will happen is that every object when it gets created at the end of its life cycle it needs to get formed into something else mm -hmm. you cannot throw it away it needs to be input to something else what is that something else how can it get used in something which is new it's not very easy because to create something by using raw material which is from scratch it's very simple but looking at things that already exist and coming up with an idea that using things which already exist how can i create something new it's not an easy problem and this is what we are trying to solve so you know as as dasso systems we are really uh um, compelled to solve the difficult problems we don't just look at simple problems of uh, let's try to design cad okay cad of course it's a difficult problem but we are looking far ahead that in order to create that cad application in which you create design how do you try to deliver it in a sustainable way in the in the end and how do you end up creating an economy around it where because at end of the day you have to have a business so how do you create a business around it where you are profitable mm -hmm. but in a sustainable way where we are trying to do things for a greater good it's not just for i am i'm i'm profitable i'm good i don't care about everyone else that that needs to uh change and this is uh, in fact I, i think that maybe well it maybe it starts with the um, the the moral values of of the people in charge yes. <laughs> but but eventually if if right now the the people in charge they they don't have that that moral values that we need well they at at some point in the future they are going to be replaced for someone that hopefully have those moral design uh, those moral values that we need <laughs> so okay i think it i think it's a it's a possibility i think next generation is already changing the way my kids behave is not the way i used to behave mm -hmm. when growing up in fact uh, the way they worry about uh, any light switch not should not be uh, kept on mm -hmm. everything is turned off promptly by them uh growing up i don't think i used to do that because i was not i was not aware about sustainability as much as my kids are today mm -hmm. so next generation is making a big change and uh, i have full faith in them uh, they i would tell you that my my belief is that the next generation will face problems which are much bigger than our generation has faced but next generation is also way more innovative than our generation was so they will face bigger challenges but they'll come up with way more innovative solutions mm -hmm. and they'll amaze us yeah. i'm i'm sure of it yes i, I think that it's uh, it's a great time to be alive <laughs> it is it is i think so I, okay i i'm going to change the subject so i can ask another of the questions uh, yeah, yeah. ah okay. uh, one one person was worried if Uh, another camera is turning down uh, i don't know which one right. um if uh, if we will solidworks desktop will will cease to exist in the future this is 
you know, this is a, uh, do you know this term FUD, fear, uncertainty, death. When something changes, uh, a lot of FUD is spread by competition. So this is essentially a FUD. We are the number one, we are the market leaders of mainstream CAD solution, right? Uh, we sell more number of uh, SOLIDWORKS CAD licenses than any other mainstream uh, CAD solution provider. Why will I, why will, why will we do that? Uh, now, you have to realize that the problems of the past is slightly different than problems of present or even problems of future. Mm -hmm. So, because before COVID, collaboration was a need, but it was not a big need. After COVID, collaboration is a big need. Mm -hmm. Any company which is trying to go and try to hire someone, so people, a lot of these companies I talked to, they hire the talent based on the talent, not based on the location of the talent. Yeah. Work from home is not a, a myth anymore. Most of the companies have flexible policies, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have people who are not all at the same central location, uh, security was a, okay, it was cyber security and uh, ransomware. These were mm -hmm. situations that you rarely used to hear about. But now it's so common. Yeah. Now, how do you solve all those problems without trying to somehow manage your data? So it's CAD is not just about CAD. CAD is about CAD and the data that your CAD is producing. Mm -hmm. So our goal is, and, um, and the second point is that if you, if you think about the future, in past, we all grew up with a laptop. Or in fact, I grew up with a desktop, then switched to laptops. I'm even older than you are. So we grew up with the desktops, which transformed into laptops. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that soon enough in future, we will all walk with a phone-like device, which has the compute power needed in order to meet all our needs, compute needs. Mm -hmm. The day when you go there, how will you run your native CAD application? So we have to think about that future mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to position two things. As of today, there are, and I will uh, talk about it tomorrow, we have literally two flavors of SOLIDWORKS at this point. Mm -hmm. Flavor one that you already have SOLIDWORKS desktop, but it comes with the platform now, meaning every license of SOLIDWORKS comes with a cloud, li cloud service mm -hmm. um, license. Mm -hmm. We are not forcing you to use it. You have, you use it the way you want it. It's essentially the same SOLIDWORKS that you have used, but it comes with the platform license. Mm -hmm. And then the next flavor is where everything is running in a browser which is our X-Apps, X-Design, X-Shape, all X-Sheet Metal, all the X-Apps are running in a browser. We, we have these, just these two flavors. And we are going to keep both these flavors alive forever. Yes, because uh, I think that uh, different people have different needs, so... Precisely. So we, you, have, you, you have to have them both. If, if we just do, if we just work on, let's say, the CAD application which runs on Windows, we will jeopardize our future because future is going to be a place where you will be able to use it on multiple devices. So X apps is going to sort of uh, satisfy the need of the future. But if we are working on that futuristic need as well, doesn't mean this is going away. Now, what is happening, literally what is happening is that if competition cannot win in a fair battle, <laughs> because if you look at it even today, we have made more enhancements than any other competition in uh, in our desktop application. So we are doing enhancements. Now, if you cannot compete in a fair way, what do you do? You create this part that SOLIDWORKS desktop is going away. Why will SOLIDWORKS desktop go away? Exactly. It is going to be there in top of, on top of what it used to have. It also gives you the option of cloud collaboration. If you want to use it, great. If you don't want to use it, you want to use it the way it was, keep on using it. Yes, exactly. No problem. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, for example, another person was asking, uh, what are the requirements to work with in SOLIDWORKS or the SOL systems? Uh, in what sense? Uh, to join as an employee? Join? Yes, exactly. Yes. How can someone become an employee of SOLIDWORKS or the SOL systems? 
Well, that's very easy. There is you. You need to be qualified, and as long as you you are qualified, there is a literally a career at thirdyears dot com or some website like that where all the job postings are public, and anyone is allowed to apply for the jobs. Yes, and as you say, it you're looking for the talent despite of the location. Yeah, of that person. So, yeah. so and and we have. Uh, We have needs all over the world. It's not just based in U.S. All over the world, we have needs. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so, so that. Right uh, <laughs> I think, mm -hmm. ah, another pe uh, person is asking: When is uh, SolidWorks giving away free certification vouchers for students? I don't know. I I, I thought it is already there. No, they they you, you did something around October, November last year. Okay, but he's asking when it's going to be more. <laughs> I thought every student version comes with a ah yes, the, the student version comes with the, uh, with the vouchers. Voucher, but uh, I'm assuming they want just the free certification. With ah okay, it's okay. Uh, you have my LinkedIn. Um, Profile, please connect and uh, send me requests. I'll I'll satisfy every single one of them. Students, I, I students, I love you guys. You are <laughs> you are the most amazing audience of ours. Any anything you need, I'm all for it. Always. Are you sure about that? Because I think that you're gonna get like thousands of. Then we will create something unique where we can say that send a request to that email ID. It's fine. Okay. Well, to to your audience. Okay. If you're a friend of Adan, you're a friend of mine. <laughs> Please tell me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And uh, 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 one person was asking, what was their first Dassault Systems software that you use? What was the first Dassault Systems solver? Yes, yeah, like SolidWorks or Katia. Yeah. I I use I I joined SolidWorks right out out of college. I joined SolidWorks. So SolidWorks was my first job. Okay. And I have been here since 25 years. So okay, so <laughs> SolidWorks. <laughs> SolidWorks is the answer. <laughs> it's my first job as well. It's not just for first modeler. Okay, another one, and maybe some sort of personal. Uh, he, he's asking, uh, what are your short term uh, short term uh, goals, professionally and personally speaking? Uh, personally speaking, okay. <laughs> you know what? I want to be a better cricketer. If I get more time, I want to play more cricket, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I want to improve my batting skills. They are uh, getting rusty because I I need to travel a lot these days, so I'm not able to play as much as I wish I want to. Okay. So, on on uh, personal front, if you ask me, that is definitely what I want to do. On professional front, I think uh, my short term. Uh, one of the key focus for short term is that um, I would say two. Two. One is um, we have a large client base, mm -hmm. large customers, uh, a customer base, and even today, um, a large portion of our client base is still storing the data on whatever devices they have and to me um, this is a good thing because you have your data the trouble is that uh, it comes at a cost that you don't realize that where are you backing up the data where are you trying to access the data from if something happens and it happens quite a lot you will be you'll be shocked that if some uh, ransomware attack uh, steals your data and then tells you that you have to pay the data back to me then you'll You'll get your data back and so on. So mm -hmm. there is uh, there is a lot of customers who are in this kind of situation who want to go to the platform, mm -hmm. meaning who, they want to save the data on the platform and still keep on using SolidWorks the way they use it. Mm -hmm. So my number one priority is to help these clients mm -hmm. by giving providing simplest possible tools with which, if you have, uh, if you're if you're a SolidWorks user, mm -hmm. most likely you have a lot of data. How do you put that data in an environment which is safe, secure, with which you'll be able to access it from anywhere? You get all the benefits of the platform while using your SolidWorks that you love. So that, to me, is uh, one of a uh, priority for me. That how do I help my clients mm -hmm. be more secure? Okay. The second need is uh, to do with 
AI. Okay. Um, AI is where we uh, are working really hard and by we I am not just saying as SolidWorks um, CEO or SolidWorks VP of R&D as well uh, the entire DASA systems. We truly believe that once your data goes in a central location, the amount of information that we can extract from it to give back to you, your information going back to you, not anyone else. Let me be, be very clear. Mm -hmm. So when we look at AI, we make sure, we will make sure that your data is only for you, not for anyone else. But how can we try to extract information from your data and give it back to you? I am going to show it with an example on Tuesday general session. Mm -hmm. In terms of a car company, if you are trying to design a car, if, if you have a, 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 if you are a car company with a bunch of cars that you have created in the past, how can, and if you move all the data together on the platform, how can we provide a value to you? Now, car company was a good example because it, it is a realistic example, but once you see that example, you'll realize that it's not just a car company. Any company faces those challenges today. How are you solving that challenge? And there, both the data mining aspect of it, data analytics aspect of it, and AI aspects of it is going to make your life so better in future. But before it can happen, you need to put the data in an environment where this data analytics can happen. So to me, these are connected, two connected things. But to me, in short term, my professional <laughs> Uh, goal is that how can I help my customers see that light of the day where you put the data in an environment which is safe, secure, collaborative, accessible, and then how can I how, how can I show you values that you would not even dream of? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my short term goal. Okay, thank you. Well, I think that with with that we we will end this session. Thank you very much. Thank you, Manish, for for your time for being here and. Thank you all for uh, coming here. I, I'm going to translate this so you can understand everything. And yeah, that's that's that was it. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, and nos vemos chavos. Hasta luego. Thank you. <laughs>